But what I'm trying to say is this whole conflict really shed a light on how the CCP's, uh, the, the tentacles in a free world looks like. Okay, so this is actually, you never ever get to a ground zero so close to actually have an interaction with the CCP's United Front work. Because we were talking about United Front work, this is actually an expensive tentacles of the Chinese spy intelligence network, espionage. Okay, you know that's so the, that, that's the important thing that we got. You got to make sure you connect the dots with the audience here. Yes. United the United Front work department. If you looked at that previous clip that was played, you see that they have positioned these people in normal places in society and business so you're not going to go up and see a guy in a dark coat and sunglasses and no. binoculars being a spy the spies are in society they placed them there you ban on this is unrestricted warfare they use unconventional spies and these are the spies they are deeply integrated with your local communities your yeah. civic society they all have look at that 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 guy you know if that you put on the picture that i sent you the first picture you put it on on his resume on his linkedin yes at the uh, bottom left you know he was a consultant and he's he right now is working for financial times in uk i mean financial times is a very credible uh, news outlet and he works there and he also works for Confucius Institute he is a coach for Chinese teachers that means he actually recruit and training those teachers that's gonna work within the Confucius Institute and you already know based on you know the previous whistleblowing and based on your government uh, select committee on CCP's work they already exposed the Confucius Institute Right? So these are the infiltration. These are the uh, organs, how they actually turned uh, Americans' uh, minds uh, with lies and, and, and a false history. And that's how they actually uh, um, spread the socialism and the communist ideology through capturing the K-1 to K-12 or even university young minds to poison with the toxicants. So this is how they do it.